Welcome to a Farming Simulator 19 new mod map map tour with me, Mr. Sealy P. Okay, I am on RDC FS19 and I've done something I've never done before on a first look map tour. I've actually had to kind of play on it for a little bit. The money is huge, ignore that for the time being. Um, because this is one of possibly the most confounding and confusing yet exciting maps I think I've come across for console. Um, this is a place called Castilla y Leon in uh, northwest Spain, I think it is, and it's an autonomous community which I believe means it's not run by the government, it's run by themselves. Now, we start off, let's have a look on here. We start off all the way over here, on the main road, on the way in. The map is an interesting one, it's quite mountainous in places, quite rugged. And this is why I'm confounded, I am there are some massively exciting things. The thumbnail says Game Changer, and I am not kidding when I say that. I normally say that for mods. This is a Game Changer, because this has done something that I've never seen done before on a console map. Um, now, as far as what we start with on New Farmer, this entire section here is what you start with and that's the main farm we'll get to that in a little bit this bit at the top here i bought i had to buy that because i was trying something out uh actually that being said what i can do then is sell that back because i don't need that uh so you don't start with that you start with this big section down here now this bit up here and it actually says factory one two and three that bit you also need to buy because that is for all intents and purposes, the biogas plant. It's only 39,000 for that tiny little bit there, but that is kind of your biogas plant. Bear with me because it, it might get confusing. Now, here's the weird thing. As far as buying plots up, you can buy fields like so. Not plots exactly like this. And the prices aren't bad. 73 grand, there's a little one there, 11. For 31 grand but you can't buy the bits in between i'm clicking my right click down and you can't buy anything else now i'm haven't actually done the grass yet but i think the grass is available for you to just cut because there's a lot of grass areas around here uh field 10 you buy field 4 and so on so on. now there's a couple of peculiar things that go along with that we'll see when we get up to field 16 in a moment um i really I'm, I'm trying to work out where to begin um as you can see on the map here we've got animal dealer animal dealer animal dealer animal dealer animal dealer five animal dealers um you can buy all of the animals at all of them so i'm not sure why there are five unless originally when the map was first made you bought a different animal type from each one i'm not too sure but maybe that wouldn't work for console so that it, it goes on to all that bit i'm not too sure about but anyway let's get in the pickup let's close that and let's kind of start the tour and you'll see what i mean in a moment so let's get the engine started now the other thing that confounds me about this map i was trying to find a nice bit to do a lovely thumbnail and most of this map is covered in trees i'm surprised it's not more laggy but they're not trees that are easily cut down it's not like pine trees and fir trees and if you look every single direction you look in there are trees all over the place now i've never been to castilla leon um it may well look exactly like this we're going to go left Past animal dealers, let's open that map at the bottom. The countryside is a fascinating mishmash and cross-section of little tracks and roads and 
Now, as far as the map itself goes, um, it's difficult to. I think with all the trees, it's gonna get. Where are we? Why is that not letting me do it now? Okay, that's weird. Oh, there we go. So hen house, pigsties, so on, so on. Now there are five of these. And with all the trees, I know people moaned about Marwell Manor Farm when you were driving on the lanes and it's difficult to see because the trees are everywhere. This is a little bit like that. So I think that's one thing that people might not like about it because that's like you're driving along now. If you're even anywhere back from your vehicle at all, the trees kind of get in the way a little bit. Now, if you're playing realistically and you want to play in cab, that's not too much of a problem. Because the trees don't get in the way when you're actually in cab, that sort. And this is what baffles me. This is really strange. Because there are bits, like say, you dri I'm driving around now thinking, you know, there's little bits like that you think, oh, that's, that really should have been picked up on, shouldn't it? But then there's other bits to this you think, blimey, how have they done that? It's incredible. So, carrying onwards, past all the animal dealerships, and you notice we're going up and down and there's lots of craggy kind of rock faces, lots of separation between heights on, of bits of terrain on this map and the thing is you can't look out to like stunning vistas and views and that kind of thing because of the amount of trees but then you have got some really nice amazing bits now some of the textures are completely different and from what I gather from looking at the mod hub this has been five years in the making there are quite a few of these big kind of placeable areas some you have to buy some you don't so we're kind of going up the western side of the map, heading north. It kind of weaves around between. Now, there's not going to be a lot of scope for landscaping on this map. Because all the sections in between you can't buy, you don't own the land. And you notice now we're moving into, we've kind of gone from that green area into this more arid, dry. On the map it's all kind of brown and the textures and the ground mirrors that. Um, we do have some, actually, saying that, we have got pine trees and fir trees up here. Now, we are heading up towards the factory bit. I'm going to overtake these. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so massively tall. I, I really am. Um, so, if we turn in here, this is the bit you're going to need to own. Now if we come in the back here, we've got this pipe here. It comes out. You'll see in a moment. Then we come around here. Now this is, again, this is what I love. There's some amazing stuff on this map that is so different to anything I've come across before. Now these are, in essence, your bunker silos. Silage, you can tip into that one. You can tip silage into this one over here. And this one here is for slurry and digestate, weirdly enough. Now, if we look into the cell points, factory one, two, and three, which are just there, didn't show up on here until I bought that bit of land. So they've now appeared. If I scroll across on factory three, you've got your silage there, and the silage prices are incredible. I've got this on normal. So if you look at those silage prices, 1,440 for 1,000 litres. You're normally getting what 560 maybe if you're lucky. Um, factory two is the middle one. If we scroll across, that says oh no, manure, sorry, manure and slurry. Okay, so your manure and slurry can go into this one. So I think your silage goes in that, your silage goes in that, and here is where your digestate will come out. So your digestate from both of those is here. This one you can put in manure and slurry, and the digestate byproduct is that pipe around the back that we pass on the way in. So, this is for all intents and purposes your biogas plant. However, there are no bunker silos. So, if you're going to do bunker silos, you're going to have to put them somewhere else. 
moving on. This, this is so different to any map I've ever been on. It's um, quite intriguing. So a big sweep down. Now, field 16 that we're overlooking now is the one I was saying I, I owned a minute ago and I just sold. But look, very reminiscent of Spectacle Island um, by Alien Jim, where the field is there, field 16, absolutely, you can buy that plot, but it's covered in trees, which means you've got to clear that field before you can actually use this plot. Another interesting change. Now, I haven't got to the farm yet. Normally you start at the farm, that's why I haven't really kind of been through the vehicles and equipment and stuff yet. But I think what I will do, stop the engine, and we'll do that now. So, actually, this one. What do we start with? Well, if I scroll the way back, <laughs> because this is going to get a little bit, little bit confusing. Uh, on New Farmer. Now, I haven't tried this on Farm Manager yet, because it's taken me so long to do all this bit. 579 out of 1,299 slots, which I don't think is too bad, considering the complexity of the map. Uh, we start with the Fent Favorite 511, we've got the pickup, we've got a Stratman SE, SEK802, small plow, small cultivator, small seeder. We've got a herbicide and fertilizer sprayer, fertilizer spreader, weight, and then we get onto these. Now these are all RDC, because the map is RDC FS19. Now these are RDC mods that come with this map. We've got a large silo for tubers, so that is for your sugar beet, your potato, and your sugar cane. 500,000 litre capacity. Then you've got a large grain silo which will take all your grain types, also 500,000 litre capacity. We've got a fuel tank which we'll get to later on and then we've got these garages. Now there are loads of these so we'll keep scrolling and then we get to these bunkers. Now these aren't bunker silos, just says bunkers. Uh, again we'll have a look at those later on. We've got some metal gates wooden gates, we've got a vehicle workshop, we've got a water tank, and then we've got the RDC house. Now these are all implaceables, so like I say, these are mods specific to this map. You've got the RDC house, 130,000. Uh, we've got, I'm trying to think where it was under. Right, so you've got all of these then, the metal gate, wooden gate, garage, bunker, you can get from there. In silos, if we scroll across, We've got a real selection here. Large grain silo. We've got a large silo for tubers, 180,000 each, 500,000 litre capacity. Then we've got a small grain silo, 100,000 litre. Small silo for tubers, so again, your sugar beet potatoes and sugar cane. Then we've got a small silo for animal food and salt. Bear with me, this is where this goes absolutely bonkers. Small silo for solid fertiliser, lime and seeds, herbicide and liquid fertiliser storage, fuel tank, hayloft, so this is for your hay and straw um, for 200,000 uh, 200, litres for nine grand for that hayloft, nine grand for a 200,000 litre hayloft. Um, we've then got bunker silos, which we haven't got any actually on the map, but you can put bunker silos down, a whole array of those. So there's a lot of mods that they've created themselves really nice looking stuff as well which basically covers all of your needs and these silos are not expensive at all now where that says small silo for animal food and salt here's where we start getting into the things that are a little bit more intriguing let's look at big bags we've got our standard big bags in game here then we scroll across and then we've got these cow food sheep food chicken food horse food salt Salt? We haven't had salt before. This is new. New for console. That that doesn't exist, but it does on here. Um, so we come out of here. I think pallets. I'm not sure if we've got anything. No, pallets are all standard. Bales, I think they're all standard as well. Right. So all that animal feed is all new. That's all different. Um, so when we get to the farm, I'm going to explain why. And it is mind-bending. So what we're going to do is head along. I think we're going to get to the um, sawmill and wood chip storage. Not storage, sell point.
And like I say, this is going to be a very kind of... People are either going to love this map or absolutely hate it, I think. I kind of get that feeling. Um, I'm quite enthused and excited, not just by the map itself, but by what it can do. Um, that will make a little bit more sense in a moment. Um, because the potential for what happens next, I think, is what makes it exciting. Actually, let's do this one first. See what I mean about the trees? You can't really get a good line of sight on anything because of the amount of trees. So this is that kind of love it or hate it thing. It's going to put a lot of people off, I think. So, round here. If we get to the cell point. He's lost it. No surprise there. Right. So, we are currently... Uh, we have gone. <laughs> Where have we gone? Right, we're at the mill here. Right, so this is the mill. Cell point. Uh, there we go. At the mill. We scroll across. Here we'll take. That's interesting. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, oh no, there's nothing on there. Uh, so you can do your uh, canola, sunflower, and soybean can all be sold here. Just those though. Okay, that's the mill cell point. Just there. Now I'm concerned this is going to be a little bit like um, the old country one, the one that had about 95 cell points. I need to get around this because there's so much I need to explain. And some of it I still don't understand, and that's, you know, this, this is kind of like a first look, but I've been on it for a while and I'm still baffled by some of this. Um, here's your wood chip cell point. We're at the northern point of the map now. Uh, wood chips and lumber is round here. This is your sawmill. Where is it? Just here. There we go. Um, so as far as the map goes, we are now up here. We're going to drive across. Um, there's a big lake in the middle there. I'm not even sure if we're going to get to have a look at that yet. Because there's so many trees, you only kind of come across it as it all opens out. Uh, we've got a cake shop sell point. We've got the nursery garden, grain trader, dairy. They're all here. Then we need to get down to the farm. We haven't even been down to the spinnery yet. Or the sugar factory or the forages. Yeah, I mean... Right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drive across... Uh, and we'll get to those other cell points. I will see you momentarily at those, otherwise we will run out of time. So as we head into town, we've got all these speed bumps, fuel station on the right. As you leave town, there's a red one, I think. Nice bit of sculpture in the middle there, a little park. The cake shop is on the, uh, is on the left. Gets through here. Have I lost it? Oh, there you go. Cake shop cell point is just around the back of here. There's not a huge amount of room on some of these cell points, I'll be honest. And if you head that way, you cut. Sorry, you kind of go out of the town a little bit, and there's a there's a strange underpass. I I would suggest, like I have done on various different. Uh, first looks have a search around go on the map drive around I can't possibly show you everything that's on here because there is so much to find wrong turn okay so up the hill and in here this is the nursery so we are now here the nursery garden Come to the main store for purchasing more speed bumps. I'm gonna cut across there. Shouldn't do really, but there you go. So here's your main store. 
tucked away in the little corner here so you've got your purchase point here if you buy anything it spawns here at the front if you reset anything it resets to the back of the building round here which is also where your repair and sell point is but yeah anything you reset if you roll it put it in a ditch in a lake it will reset to here So I'm just go out of here, then right, and then right again. Now, if you look at the top right of the mini map, there's a weird kind of bit on the road where it all goes black. That's a tunnel. You actually go through a tunnel. It just does a loop, comes back on itself. That's what I mean about having a look, having a bit of a search around because the stuff on here you'll only see by by honestly by searching around. Now. So the red speed bumps are the ones that are going to tell you you're leaving the town and there are no more speed bumps after that. We should be taking a right in a moment, just down here. Now the other thing is, again, probably, probably will be a bit frustrating is the fact that everything's quite isolated. Uh, we are now at the Grain Trader, which is just there. Uh, the Grain Trader is that cell point there. So that will do your kind of main crop types, but won't do your canola, sunflower or soybean just your main grains yeah everything's a little bit isolated so the road system is okay but you have to kind of drive around quite a long way to get to things because of the undulate say not even really undulations you've got kind of um like i say rock faces and sheer drops and things like that so getting to things can actually prove quite difficult and when we actually get up to the farm you'll see what i mean at the farm as well um so dairy we are coming up on now we find the entrance here we go what's this cell point that's weird It's around the back of the building. I thought it was at the front there. Seems like an unnecessary long way to go around, but. Yep, there you go. All the way around the back there. There you go, that's your dairy. Now, what I'm going to do from here. We are, at the moment, here at the dairy. Um, now, this is your main farm. And if you see the rocky kind of outcrop here, you can't get up to your main farm off of this road here. I mean, there might be a little track or some other way, but realistically, looking at all of this and the way I've driven already, you've got to come back out along this main road, follow all the way along, and then you can come into the farm from here. That's realistically the only way of doing that. So I'm going to see you at the main farm in a minute. So we are just turning in to the main farm now, off that main road. It's a bit of a drive in. Now a lot of the gates I've opened already, like I say, because I had to kind of check things out. So we're coming down into the farm now and we are heading west. Bit of a bump. There we go. Now we own field two, which is just to the north. The main farm is all here, but it's all fenced in. Again, there's only kind of one way into it, which is 
again I can imagine that could be quite frustrating the gated entrance isn't very big either so if you're going to think about having any bigger machinery you're not going to get through this gate with bigger machinery um, but this is the main farm entrance here facing south now field two is behind us so prepare to have your mind blown if you haven't already seen anything about this we have two new crops for console but only on this map so my thinking now is if you can put them on this map why can't you put them on other maps so we have got rye and we have got things called lucerne we'll have a look at those in a second um i'm honestly speechless i'm you know you get the crop types you get and i know on pc a lot of the guys will comment and say oh yeah I, we've got this we've got that and you know so while we're on the subject of crop types here's where it gets even better uh, this is what i mean about this map it's such a swing both ways if we go up to miscellaneous So we've got the RDC water tank for a thousand. We've got the vehicle workshop that you can also buy in place. But now we've got these. Look, this is like greenhouses, but better. You've got a tomato bed, a vegetable bed, a cauliflower bed, and a grapevine. How cool is that? And you can't actually harvest them. But these are ones where you put in your uh, manure and your water, fill them up, and you'll get an hourly rate back off those. That's brilliant. Alberto, who's made this map. Oh, I didn't even say the map was by, did I? At the start, Alberto. Bring these out as a mod. Bring them out as a mod. All this stuff. It should be mods. Bring it out. Uh, that's the government grant. I don't think there's anything else further there. Yeah. So you can place these grapevine that's brilliant cauliflower bed it's nice to have something different again it, it that really makes it stand out um incredible just yeah mind blown anyway so that cedar well i'll show you that in a minute let's go and find my tractor uh so we come into the main yard now so we kind of I'm, hopefully i'm going to fit this in some of our equipment when you start the game you start in the pickup but most of your equipment at the start is all here in this little placeable area, kind of open paddock type thing here. So you've got most of your equipment dotted around here. I've moved the uh, fence already. This is your main farmhouse. This is where you can sleep through the night. Come around to the front here. And click there. I'm not tired at the moment, but if I was, that's where I would sleep. Now, all of those sheds that I was talking about that's all these and there are loads of these around the farm i've opened all the doors on most of them but if i press that we can come on there we go that one there that one there they all open and close plenty of storage space and there are quite a few of these all the way around the back we've got more on the next level we'll get to that in a minute uh now this one here is a little bit different that side is storage this side has got your fuel tank just there and around the corner here you've got your workshop so if you bring your vehicles into this bay here and come around to there that's where you can repair your vehicles or configure them or do whatever you're going to do so that's your workshop area now we've got a few of these which i think are brilliant loading ramps absolutely fantastic idea and then we've got these bunkers but these are not bunker silos we've got quite a few of these dotted about if i walk into them nothing comes up these are just kind of storage silos so it's not a bunker silo for fermenting you're going to need to place bunker silos if you want to do that now we're coming up on the first of my quandaries and these are all completely unique to this map this is your cow shed cow barn <laughs> you ready for this right it's big uh i've bought some stuff in here to tip already and when i bought the tipper in it wouldn't accept it if it was on the rear door 
all grain door, it had to be on tip side left or right. Because it would only tip, I tried to tip from the back and it didn't want to know. Um, so that's where your feed comes in, in here. There's a button, let me show you the button. Oh, there's a button, watch this, right. Press this and then look up. Oh, how cool is that? This is, this map is incredible. Wow. Just incredible. Now, there are your feed troughs. But dotted along here, you've got these, like, water troughs. A bit like the pig food ones were on the old stream farm, on FS17. Now, if you're going to fill those up with water, you do that from here. As you can see, I spilt some crop on the floor because I wasn't sure where it had to go. I thought it was a storage silo. I wasn't sure. But for your water, you tip your water here, or actually you kind of put it in here, and that fills these up. So for water, you're doing it from here. Straw comes in around the side. I think it's only this one up the end here. There's a hazard marked bit on the floor, which you can't actually see properly now. Oh, there you go, you can just about see it. So you can come in from here, from outside the pen, or from here, and you fill up from here, and it will fill the straw up for all of it. Fantastic, well that's your straw, that's your feed, no problem at all. This is where you buy and sell them from. But oh no, this is where, again, this is another absolutely mind blown. Um, I'm gonna go in here. Let's have a look at our animals now. I've got some of each just for this very reason. So, buckle in people. Pigs, right hand side. Cleanliness, 100% fine. They need water and they need straw. Barley, corn, soybeans, potatoes, sugar beet. That's not showing it as separate now. And then it says pig food. So I can give them pig food or. Now, whereas before you put pig food in, it would split it between them all. That's showing them as separate. Now we get to our sheep. The sheep need for cleanliness, water and rye windrow. So the rye that we can grow, we cut down and we windrow and we pick that up and that is used to keep them clean for bedding. Then food, they have straw and dry luzerne windrow or hay, sheep food, salt and forage. That's why there's all these new things. That's why there's salt in those ba in the, the big bags and why we've got luzerne and we've now got rye because on this map you need all of those things for the animals now sheep don't normally need straw but they need rye wind windrow there normally they just want hay or grass and job done that's your sheep producing but on here no cows even more water straw same thing straw dry luzerne windrow or hay cow food salt total mix ration now this is where i'm confused on this map because i um got cow food and i put the cow food into the main trough and it took it no problem at all now if we go back to this again that says down here straw dry luzerne windrow hay effectiveness 34 percent cow food effectiveness three percent salt one percent Total mixed ration, 62%. So I put cow food in, and that split it between cow food and the straw dry luzerne. Haven't done any salt yet, so I thought, right, I'll get some total mixed ration. So I got some total mixed ration and put that in, but it split it between cow food and straw. It didn't put it into the total mixed ration. So I'm struggling to get higher than 49% productive because I can't work out where the total mix ration goes. Now we have got at the end here, another silo with a hazard bit. Now I tried backing up to here with total mix ration, wouldn't take it. I wondered if maybe that was for salt, possibly. There's also one round the side here. And this, we can close this up. But it's got a hazard bit there. Now I don't know if that's for putting straw bales in maybe. So I'm not too sure about the total mix ration. That's why I'm a bit puzzled on this one. But we have got a lot of different things that we can grow and that our animals need. Chickens. 
water, straw for the chickens. They need straw. They've never needed that before. Wheat or corn and chicken food. You can do both of those. Wheat, corn effectiveness is 38%. Chicken food is 62%. So you have to give them a balance of both. You can't just give them one to get 100% productive. Then our horses are the same. Horse food, oats, salt, straw, dry luzerne for food. Then they need straw and water for their pen conditions. Um, I wasn't joking when I said at the start it's a complicated map. So let's start that up. Complicated, confusing, baffling, mind boggling, <laughs> but incredibly clever. Uh, so on our way out of this part of the farm we'll come to there's the water filling point just here this first look is going to be so long I do apologize if you're still with me thank you so much but I personally think it's well worth it um, I'm just hoping that lessons learnt from this providing the map makers prepared to be you know a good sport about it we could be seeing new maps coming out with these things, you know, new crop types. One, oh, that's what I was going to do. That reminds me. Now, this is the other cool thing. When I placed one of the um, buy anything silos, it came up with those extra things on the buy anything silo. For rye, that came up. So I go onto here, onto the planter, cedar. Look at the bottom right. What does that say? Luzerne. Wheat, barley, oats, canola, soybean, oilseed radish, grass, rye, luzerne. So the cedars, and that's just a standard in-game cedar, the cedars have already been kind of adjusted to allow for the new crop. I'm, I'm still kind of on this, on my PlayStation 4 thinking, this is PC stuff, isn't it? Sure, um, has my PlayStation suddenly allowed me to play a PC version? I, d I don't know. Anyway, so next section down, and this is what I mean about being a little bit bitty. The, the farm itself is kind of spread. Um, we have got our silos just to the left, more of those farm buildings. So we've got our 500,000 litre silo that holds all your grain types just here. Tip in there collect out of the spout just there got a funny feeling I'm not going to get around everything so the trees are, are kind of a bit oppressive you know more barn space and building space than just down to the bottom section here because we're heading south We've got our other bunker silo, uh, our other bunker, our other silo, sorry. This is the one that will hold your potatoes, sugar beet and sugar cane. Again, 500,000 litres. Then we come up to the pig pen, which is just here. Now, I think tipping is just the same. Straw, I think, is further up. Pretty sure the straw is further up. Now this one does have, unlike the other one, this has got feed troughs this side and water troughs this side. So this one doesn't have a silo for water troughs. Your water troughs are this side. But we do still have over here. I think it's an old one, isn't it? Let me come out the top end here. And round the side. Now, I'm not sure. So we've got another one of these here. Look, I'm not sure what that's for. Then about halfway down on this side is where you've got your buy, sell, deliver your pigs from. Now I don't know because I can't find it. Where? Whether we've got one main slurry tank on the farm, and all of it kind of gets diverted to there. And as for manure, I don't know whether they need to be mucked out. 
or whether those silos like the bunkers that are around the side whether that's where you're supposed to put it I can't find I can't find the slurry pit for the pigs oh hang on there we go these are a bit unique as well look at that again something a bit different right we've got a couple of placeable areas off to our left just over here and then just to our north we've got our sheep and then we've got our horses it's all a bit windy that's what I mean about being this bit being a little bit bitty you know it's incredible what's been achieved now I'm assuming then that even our sheep are going to be making slurry yeah look milk that can't be right surely the pigs will make manure and slurry the sheep manure slurry and milk the cows fine I get that chickens no that's good but the chickens are going to make manure as well that's incredible wow so I know people have said it in the past about the sheep and them not being you know quite as they should be so we've got feed troughs just here I think the, that's the water trough isn't it yep and that's the feed trough uh, straw I think comes in here or oh, it could be the other end I thought it was a hazard mark bit there um, but it'll be one of these side bits I think it's this bit here oh no actually that could be where the wall pallets spawn just thinking that actually yeah that would make more sense wouldn't it that could be for the water oh no we've got water troughs haven't we this is another one then what's that for if you know let me know and then round the side here is where we buy sell or deliver f to from whichever you'd rather uh, and then we need to go to the horses now on the map the horses are right over here which means going back past the field with those crops in that we put in already I'm going to jump there because it'll be a little bit quicker to get to I think the last two sell points I think we probably will actually last three so let's visit the horses uh, same thing again we've got well, big high fences on these ones as well feed trough water I think this is the, the bonkers thing they're all slightly different that's your straw pretty sure just there yeah see we've got we got more of these trough things here so I think they might be on the other end <laughs> this map is like I say so confusing right buying and selling and delivering is just there and water I'm assuming is going to be there you go that'll be your water that fills up those troughs inside that's your horses but what's even better say even better what's really cool so they're even going to produce well, by the looks of that they're going to produce slurry as well uh, where am I going should have gone up the other side we've got this I'll just jump the fence it's like a racetrack but um, for training your horses it winds around if you look in the bottom left hand corner of the minimap with all these gates so you can ride your horses round do a bit of jumping on the way round <laughs> just amazing the attention to detail in and I don't want to because people all get absolutely slaughtered because people say oh yeah you say that but the attention to detail on some parts of it are phenomenal and on other parts and this is no disrespect to the mod the map maker it's just it's what it is I mean these some of the buildings the details the crop types are just incredible uh, and then you've got some bits like the some of the walls and stuff seem a bit kind of plain and um, not blocky is the wrong word but you know what I mean um, but overall I mean wow wow so where haven't we been the spinnery is down the bottom here now you've got another one of these arid sort of brown dry zones here if we jump to 
spinnery so we are down now in the southeast corner of the map the entrance is no I'm going away from the entrance genius so that's where your actual cell point is tucked into buildings and your entrance off the main road is just across here not as many trees on this bit still pretty mountainous though out to the main road so we've got the sugar factory which is just here there's your cell point see look at those the detail the rust the age the, you know it's worn brilliant nice few sound effects you do have to kind of drive through the facility to be able to get to these as well it's not just a simple they're right out on the you know right by the main road kind of thing and then across the road pretty much we've got the last of our cell points <laughs> which is just in here now this is your forage forages SL uh, so your sugar factory will take your sugar beet and your sugar cane and then your forages SL as you might imagine will take your grass hay and straw now when we come across here and this is where it all gets this is even more confusing in storage because you can have those animal silos like food silos We've got stuff in there for the luzerne, for the rye, uh, but also that's chopped. So you've got your your cut down stuff. It's just wow. And then you've got your animal feeds, and then the right at the very end, that little triangle, that's salt. So if you've got the storage facilities for those, that all goes in here as well. I'm I apologise for the last bit being quite rushed, but there's there's so much to fit in, and I'm sure. I'm almost 100% certain I will have missed something. Um, and the more people come onto this and have a play around, I've been on it for a little while and I'm just scratching the surface and there are still bits of it I'm baffled by. I'm, I'm honestly really confused um, because there's so many things that have been added into this. It's not like one crop type. There's all the different silos. There's the crop types. There's the bags. There's the, you know, all the different things the animals now need to take and that kind of stuff. Um it's added such a huge amount in um, but I honestly think it's a game changer I think this could be the start of us seeing extra and new stuff on maps you know um, this is that kind of turning point couple that with the stuff that Alien Jim does on his maps and you've got some real top quality stuff coming out that changes the way the game is played on console I you know that is just the, the nuts and bolts of it um, for what it's worth for the confusion and all the extra stuff I hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching